Hi, my name is Mark and I'm a physicist. Like all physicists, my goal is to understand things at the most basic level possible. Today, I want to talk to you about color. But first, I'll have to tell you about light, because color is something you see, and you don't see anything when there's no light. Light is created by light sources, like the sun or light bulbs. It is made of tiny packets of energy called photons. Photons travel very fast, at the speed of light. But they also sort of vibrate as they move, or if you prefer, they oscillate. The number of oscillations that a photon completes every second is called its frequency. Photons oscillate at different frequencies. For instance, most photons emitted by the sun or light bulbs have frequencies in the range between 450 and 750 trillion oscillations per second. One trillion is one million million, so photons can vibrate really, really fast. In your retinas, the screen at the back of each of your eyeballs, you have millions of tiny photon detectors called cones. When they detect photons, they react by producing signals that are pre-processed in the retina itself, then sent to the brain for further processing. There are three teams of cones. Let's call them teams A, B and C. Because they have different chemical compositions, they react differently to photons of different frequencies. Cones in team A react the most to photons that oscillate 500 trillion times per second. If the frequency is a little bit above or below this value, they still react, but less. And if the frequency is much larger or much smaller, they don't react at all. Cones in team B react the most to photons that oscillate 550 trillion times per second. And cones in team C prefer photons that oscillate 650 trillion times per second. We are now ready to understand why a particular object has a particular color. Let's start with a strawberry. It is made of chemical compounds that absorb photons of most frequencies, but it contains no compounds that absorb photons that oscillate about 500 trillion times per second. So these photons are reflected, enter your eyes, and react strongly with the cones in team A. When this happens, the signal that is sent to your brain results in you seeing red, by a complicated process that is not yet fully understood. A lime contains different chemical compounds than a strawberry. It absorbs photons that have frequencies below 500 and above 600 trillion oscillations per second, and reflects photons that oscillate around 550 trillion times per second, exactly what's needed to excite the cones in team B. So they react strongly, and the signal that is sent to the brain results in you seeing green. A blueberry absorbs most photons, but reflects those that oscillate about 650 trillion times per second. So this time it's team C that reacts strongly, and the result is that you see blue. There are objects like sugar cubes that reflect most photons at all frequencies. When these photons enter your eyes, the cones of all three teams react strongly and produce signals. When this happens, the result is that you see white. So even though we have only three teams of cones, we can see more colors than just red, green and blue. For instance, the peel of a banana absorbs most photons that oscillate more than 600 trillion times per second and reflects most photons in the range 500 to 550 trillion oscillations per second. So both teams A and B react strongly. This combined signal does not result in you seeing red and green at the same time, but in a new perception, yellow. When both teams A and B react, but A reacts slightly more than B, you see orange. If only teams A and C react, you see purple, and so on. Different objects reflect different combinations of frequencies, and this results in all of the wonderful colors we see in the world. By some estimates, human beings can distinguish between several million colors. But it is important to keep in mind that objects and light itself are not by themselves colored. Color is a mental perception. You see color because of the way your eyes and brain are constructed. Some animals have a much simpler retina, with only one team of detectors. They can distinguish between light and dark, but see no color. They see the world in black and white. So, color is a special effect added on what you see by your brain, with the help of three teams of special detectors in your eyes. And what a beautiful special effect it is. It's also useful in our modern world, and also in nature. For instance, 
Color vision allows us to easily recognize ripe fruit among the leaves of a tree. I will leave you with one interesting observation that you can make. If you photograph the screen of a color TV through a magnifying glass, you will see that it consists only of red, green and blue light emitting regions. Yet the screen can reproduce any color visible to the human eye because it's made especially for human beings with the tree colors of its light emitting regions corresponding to the tree teams of cones in human eyes. Aren't science and technology wonderful?